So first of all, I want to point out that I'm an idiot, and for the longest time, I had been spelling Myers-Briggs like this, but it's actually spelled like this. In fairness, most people with the name Myers spell it with that first E. At least I didn't spell Carl Jung like with a Y. Carl Jung with a Y, that sounds like a computer programmer who lives in Ohio or something. All right, really quickly, if you haven't listened to the third episode of my podcast yet entitled The Cult of the Dream, check it out. The link is in the description below. All right, my dear friends, today we need to talk about something very seriously. No fun and games in this video, okay? Only serious, dry, dry oatmeal with no water on it kind of discussion. I want to clear up, I think, a little bit of a misblunderstanding that a lot of people who are interested in MBTI, Myers-Briggs, spelled with no first E, I think are making. It's a nuanced error though. And the thing is, this error, I think actually affects typing. When you're typing yourself, typing other people, a lot of people get confused about this and it's probably a lot more common than we think it is. All mistyping, I think, and all confusions, not all of them, but a lot of them come from just looking at the letters rather than looking at the functions. You know, we just say, oh, N versus S, cool. F versus T, cool. J versus P, I versus E. And the irony of it, most of us are here because we took a test that just did that, but you need to move beyond it. So when you're typing, if you're just looking at the letters, the four letters of a type, what do you think the easiest one is to type of those four? If I had to guess, a lot of you out there saying, oh, it's the I or the E, that's easy. Frank, wrong, wrong sucker. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna beat you up because you're wrong. I think actually the I or the E is where people get tripped up and that's where a lot of mistyping is happening. Why? Because there is the common definition of introvert versus extrovert, but it's not the same thing as the Myers-Briggs Jungian or Jungian, if you want to pronounce it correctly, version of introvert versus extrovert. It's, a, it's similar but it's a nuanced difference. So basically, everyone's operating under the assumption of, oh, if I'm an introvert, that means I'm drained by being around people, and basically it's almost like I'm shy. Whereas extrovert means I like to be around people, I'm social. That's not what the Myers-Briggs introvert versus extrovert means. The I or the E at the beginning of a type is saying is the person's dominant function the function that they're just in cruise control in all the time that they don't even have to think about, is that an introverted function or an extroverted function? Now, the introverted functions are all about the inner world, about, you know, the inner feelings, inner thoughts. It's about you, what's going on up here, whereas extroverted functions are out, uh, what's outside of you. I mean, there's more to it, but that's basically what it is. A Myers-Briggs introvert is going to be mostly, dominantly, about the world in their head, whereas a Myers-Briggs extrovert is going to be more about the world outside of them. However, this does not necessarily mean that a Myers-Briggs introvert is going to be shy or is going to not be charged up by being around people. In the same way, this doesn't mean that a Myers-Briggs extrovert is going to necessarily want to be around a bunch of people. They might prefer to be alone. They might get drained by being around people. This is where the, the mix-up and the confusion comes from. So, when you're trying to type other people or even type yourself, you can't just think of it in terms of the common definition of introvert, extrovert, do I enjoy being around people, do I get drained by people? But I can assure you that there are Myers-Briggs INFJs who are commonly understood to be extroverts. They like being around people, but their main function is introverted intuition, and so most naturally, they're just in their imagination. Introverted intuition doesn't mean that they have to be drained by being around a crowd of people. Likewise, you could have uh, like an ENFP who is a shy person. Their, their dominant function is extroverted intuition. That doesn't mean that they love to be around people and get charged up by it. It gets confusing because usually they kind of match up, right? People who are MBTI extroverts tend to be the common definition of extrovert. People who are MBTI introverts tend to be the normally held definition of introverted. But 
that could also just be that a lot of people are mistyped because they, they don't even think about that first letter. That's the mistyping that a lot of people don't think about. They're worried about, am I frickin' INTP or uh, INTJ? Whereas they probably have never thought, oh, maybe I'm ENTP. This just never crosses their mind. Think about it. Open yourself up to the possibility that perhaps in the Myers-Briggs sense, you could be an extrovert. Think about it. You might, you might be opened up to a whole new world. In fact, if I am mistyped, I hope to God that I am some extroverted type that I didn't even think about. Like someone will say, dude, you're actually ESFP. And I'm like, yeah, I'm cool now. Sweet. Life is great now. Man, I would love it if I was mistyped like that. That would make my day. This channel would blow up if that happened. That would be the greatest story ever told. They would stop showing that movie about Jesus at uh, Christmas or Easter or whenever they show it and just show my vlog on TV. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm just out to offend everyone today. Let me know in the comments, have you ever thought about this? Whether if you are an INFJ, for instance, have you ever thought maybe I'm actually an ENFJ? Have you ever considered that first letter or have you just always assumed that it was the common definition Thank you so much for watching. Merci beaucoup, if you will. Give me a thumbs up if you think I deserve it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you haven't subscribed yet, that subscriber count is the only thing I have going for me. Okay, so that's the show for today. Uh, ch check in sometime in the future when I do another uh, vlog. Actually, I think soon I want to talk about the last letters, the J versus P. What the frick do they mean? Because I think there's a lot of missable understandings there too. All right, thank you again for watching. Y'all take care. Have a good one, and I'll see you here real soon. Stay cool and attractive. Uh -oh.